Hey guys, it's Julie from Common Core Kingdom. I'm here to do a quick walkthrough of what you can expect to find in the digital mini lessons. This particular mini lesson that I'm gonna walk you through is second and third grade main idea and details. Um, however, you can expect to see a very similar format for all of the skills and strategies across grade levels second through fifth grade. So it starts off with a page that just explains how to use this resource. It is intended to be used as presenting and introducing the skills to students in a mini lesson format. That can be done virtually or with your students in class using a projector. Um, it can also be used as review or center time type thing as well if you'd prefer to use it that way. There's five days worth of instructions. Um, it breaks it down for you exactly what to do for the mini lesson for each day. On the first day, you can expect to see a video here. I created original videos that introduce the skill or strategy to students. It's played through YouTube, but it plays directly in the slide. So you do need to have access to be able to play something on YouTube to use this. How do I find the main topic of a text? There are also anchor charts that go along with each skill or strategy. These are very similar anchor charts that you will find in my core comprehension series. So it works really well with the core comprehension series because a lot of things cross over. Typically on day one, I also do a short practice for you to do with your students. It's sometimes something where students are reading a short passage and writing or highlighting, or there might be a slide with some movable pieces where students interact and sort something. That's an example of this one. And then day two, you'll have your instructions. Typically on day two, we start with a read aloud. Um, the read alouds are integrated right into the slide. However, they do play through YouTube and students just have to hit play here to listen to the story. Followed by the read aloud is a graphic organizer where students will fill in and practice that skill or strategy with the graphic organizer. Sometimes it's open-ended like this and other times it will be more movable pieces and things like that that are a little more guided. Same thing, day three, instructions. Carefully selected text that fits that standard. And a graphic organizer. Day four, same thing again. Text that fits the standard and a graphic organizer for students to fill out. Day five is a little bit different. This is the assessment day. Um, typically there's an exit slip and a chance for students to practice the skill or strategy on their own. Here, there's actually an extra slide in here that's where students are applying topic man and, de man and idea and details into their own writing by writing a paragraph about an animal of their choice. And then here's a little exit slip where they're just typing in the answers that would go in from the anchor chart. And finally, this is where they're self-selecting any text. It can be from the classroom library, their personal library, or the audio book list I provide. And students practice the strategy with that. And the recommended book list is right here. I carefully select texts that do fit that skill or strategy so students you know are going to have the opportunity to practice the best they can. And that is about it. Um, there are some differences between the standards and skills. Some of the nonfiction have more practice directly in the slides and a lot of the fiction are more mentor text based, but um, this hopefully will give you a good idea of what is included. Um, feel free to let me know if you have any questions.